Hey everybody and welcome back, certainly glad you could join me today. In this video we are going to talk about composition. Before I get started, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon and of course a huge thank you to my patrons, your names will just run across the screen. If you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon linked in the description below or simply join the channel by hitting the join button next to the subscribe button. So what is composition? Well, composition essentially is just the arrangement of all the elements in the screen as you see them as a whole. Every piece of artwork has some form of composition. Most people will, when they're trying to create a piece of artwork, deliberately will be thinking about composition, but even if you're not thinking about it, you're kind of doing it by accident. Professional photographers essentially are pretty much all about composition. They're always looking at how they're framing the subject in an image to make it as pleasing to the eye as humanly possible. And without doing it, you potentially can make either a really good image or a really good model or anything like that. You can actually make it look really amateurish and tacky just by being in the wrong place, having the model or the subjects in the wrong place. So it's really important to kind of concentrate on where you're putting these things in the screen. As you can see in all of the pictures that are running across the screen at the moment, composition is a huge element. It doesn't necessarily need to have the most attractive people in the world to make a beautiful picture, but it certainly helps of course but just thinking about where you're putting the subjects inside the frame where you're using negative space because it's not always just about the subject. Sometimes it's as much about the location. So moving the object or the subject that you're taking the picture of or that you're creating a render of so that you can see what's going on elsewhere is obviously very important. And we do have several tools available to us in Dash Studio to help us to do this, but Really, most of the time, it's just a case of taking a step back and looking at the image before you render it to say, is this a good image? Because we do tend to get very buried in the minutia of the render. We're focused on the pose, the characters, are they pretty? Is the scenery really attractive? But we're not actually looking at the overall picture and we're concentrating on whether or not the render is actually going to look good. So it's very important to take a step back, look at the image and just think to yourself, am I in the best place? Is the camera in the best place? Is the subject in the best place? What's my composition? And there's no real definite right answer to this. It's really just an instinctual thing, but I'm just gonna quickly show you some of the tools that we have in DAS. So once we're inside DAS Studio, the helpful things that we can find, the first thing, the one that I always use is the aspect frame, which is this white box around the outside of our viewport here. And this helps us by showing us exactly what's going to appear in our frame, or rather it's going to show us the frame itself. So anything outside this white box is going to be obviously outside the picture, so it won't be rendered in. So if we click on this menu at the top right hand corner here, that looks like a little, it looks like a little play button on top of some writing. We click on that and you can see that we have the option to turn the floor on and off which is also very useful you can show the center axis which is just a little widget there at zero 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 we can turn that off because we don't need it you can show the thirds guide which will show you the rule of thirds uh, actually on the aspect frame that's going to help you with your composition a little bit um, and then obviously you've got the show the pose tool as well but that's obviously only useful if you actually see the, uh, the characters in the scene. But as you can see, all those tools are really useful and really helpful towards helping you with your compositions. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.